Hi guys, how are you? I'm here. Sorry, I had to let everyone know I was here. I've got a bunch of stuff. Small, tiny lots. Nothing expensive. Um, let me find myself on YouTube so I can... So I can... Uh, read the comments better because the ones on my phone go so fast and <clears throat> let me move this aside uh, how is everyone hi summers how are you <laughs> how are you how are you um, you know the more I think about doing jewelry online my mom would have loved this she would have loved it and I wish she was here to do it because she was the one who really got me into jewelry and then got my dad into jewelry and then he became a gemologist. So, hope everyone's good. I'm good. The, <laughs> the fires are still around. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? <laughs> the fires are still nearby, but... Um, for like a day and a half, we had like a little break of a ton of smoke. And then um, yesterday it was back really full force. And um, and then today too, it's been real hazy. And it, it, I mean, it literally makes you sick to your stomach. You're nauseous from it. And then I already had a stomach issue. Thank you. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Lucinda. How are you, sweet Lucinda? <laughs> I've got my puppy here. He wants to come up. Baby. Oh, your ear. Let's put your ear back. Baby, baby. Um, let's see here. Hey, excuse me. That's really loud in their ear. You know that, right? It's not nice. My dad thinks he looks like Snoopy. Sorry, you guys. Uh, let's see, let me find me. I've been meaning to come on literally for <laughs> over a week. But um, what happened was so much was going on. The fires and then um, I my refrigerator was out. and I, Oh gosh, that was a whole ordeal. But I have my refrigerator now. Look at him. Can you guys hear him moaning? He's <laughs> so cute. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth K. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm, my allergies, I'm so itchy. My face is itchy. My eyes are itchy. My baby doll. Um, I, I take the worst thumbnails, I swear, but I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> and... Oh, let me, um, okay, there we go, I had to, I had to mute myself, yes, I cut my hair too, by the way, guys, I just chopped it, it was like during the heat wave, and I was like, I am over this, cannot handle, I don't even have like, really, you know how some people have thick, thick hair, and I don't know how, like my sister has really like thick, heavy hair, no wonder she, like, hates having long hair because it's so hot. And um, I just chopped, like, six inches, eight inches off, actually. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I didn't mean for that much, but oh well. <laughs> Done now. <laughs> I'm BBC though. Okay. He thinks he needs to be part of this, but he does not. Alrighty. Sorry, I got to tie this. It's like, it's like a little, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a Japanese little thingy, robe. <laughs> All right, you guys are saying hi to each other. Good. My hair is a bit of a mess. Um, hi, Angela. Yeah, my hair grows fast, too. My hair and nails grow really fast. Um, they break, they grow back, whatever. You know, I don't care. I was hot. I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to cut this. Well, <laughs> And then I went, and it, um, I did it like a, um, what's it called? Kimono. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. It's a kimono in all cotton. 
but I did it choppy so that it could be different layers so that when I um, curl it, it actually holds the curl better. And um, I was going to curl it, but I really didn't have time today. And I just straightened it. It's just straightened because my hair is normally curly. But I don't like the curl. I like it when I curl it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start. If I didn't say hello to you, hairy nails. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that would be creepy, huh? I've <laughs> got hairy nails. <laughs> um, if I didn't say hello to you, let me make sure I caught everyone. Let's see, Elizabeth K., Elizabeth, Angela, Lucinda, Summers. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, let's see. Okay. Ronnie G. And... I think I got everyone. I think I got everyone. Okay. And for those of you who like to lurk, it's totally okay. Because I've been a lurker for, for over a month. It's just something, sometimes you just don't feel like chit-chatting, you know? Hey, cousin. How are you? Are you home? Should I send your package now? Let me know. <laughs> okay. The first thing I'm going to show, let's see here, I'm going to put this, I have a lot of stuff, really, and I didn't mean to come on this late, and I was talking to my dad, he's like, you're going to go on now, I'm like, yeah, yes I am. Hi, Michelle. Okay, oh, Michelle, I think I have something for your son. I wish um, Lyndall was here, Linda, Linda, Lyndall. Because I have something for her son, too. Uh, let's see. I don't know. They may or may not like it. I'm not sure. Wait, does it go this way? Or does it go... Oh, it goes this way. All right. This is all seed bead. I've seen these before, and they're beautiful on. And it's got a little bit of a Native American feel with the design, but it's in black, silver, and gold. Okay, so it's real flat, and it's on fabric. Isn't that sleek? And then you have the seed bead draping down below. Isn't that pretty? Um, so it goes from like uh, gold, silver, black, and repeats itself. Let me get close. Oh, good. I'm so glad because I actually have things I, I would like to show you. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Isn't that pretty? All right. Um, uh, do you guys like buy it now or do you like the auction style? I feel like buy it now just like makes it quick and we move on. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like auctions sometimes can take a little too long, but... For things that might be worth a little more, I might do it, but for like, you know, a bit of both. Okay. All right. Let's just say a buy it now for this one. It's actually really pretty. Um, this would be great in the fall too, I think. Let's say buy it now for $6, and that's a lot of work that goes into it, and it lays really flat. So $6. Here's my dog again has to be here at all times and if you want it to say want and let's see home at, you are home oh good okay so I can send your package all right hey Maricha how are you and we have Jonathan at six thank you very much Jonathan this is sleek looking it makes me think of um, dynasty days but they, this style came back around, and it's just beautiful. Thank you. All right, so let me fold this nicely. Okay. And I have new things, too. I'm just kind of going to throw everything around just here and there. So we got Jonathan, Seed, Bead, um, I'm just going to call it 
Native American style. You guys know I put a lot of in my invoice just so you know what you're buying. Sometimes you might forget. I might forget. So that's why I'm descriptive. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Next thing. Um, buddy, you're kind of in my way. You know that? What are you guys saying? My hair is so weird right now. It's like I'm hot and <laughs> so poofy earlier and then it it gets flat. I don't know why. Um okay, you guys are talking. So Michelle, I don't know what time it is there. I'm gonna show you what I thought your son might like. Um where is it? I specifically pulled it. It's new. It was like a promo item my dad got. Okay, here it is. Now, it is Howlite. It's a pretty big chunk. It's like a skeleton, so just beware, okay? And I would say it's a 16 inch, I think. Let's see, where's my ruler? I believe it's a 16 or 18 inch necklace. I think it's a 16. It's like, it hits right here, so it must be an 18. I can't find my ruler. Okay. Four th or 3.40 p.m. Okay. Oh, how cute. A teddy bear. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so, it is how light. And it's just on a rope cord. Which is soft. And it's, um... It's supposed to be a skeleton, you know, like the bottom part's missing, the, the jaw. I don't know. That's like the new skeletons I found. And um, anyways, if he likes it, great. If he doesn't, or you don't think he does. But it's pretty thick. And I'm going to say, I don't know. Would he like something like that? Elephants and you name it. Aw, that's so cute. Uh, we'll do this one for $4 if you're interested. And it's pretty thick. And it has, uh, I think that's an, ac yeah, it's an acrylic bead. And I think this is also an acrylic bead. What is it called? A Punisher skull? Is it really? I was watching Donna earlier, and you guys couldn't decide if her plush was a turtle or a frog. I think it was the turtle. <laughs> a Punisher skull? Is it really? Okay, I didn't know that. It's brand new, really well crafted, and don't feel like you have to buy it, but really, I just like it for the pendant because it's halite, blue halite. Um, and then it has a little closure like this over the knot. Let's see, pass. He isn't keen on color. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. Michelle paint it. <laughs> I don't think you can though. Um but yeah, it's such a big piece. It's like, I mean, look at it next to my cheek. It's a, it's a big piece. Yeah. Hey Wes, how are you? All right, so we're gonna skip on that one. I thought there was another piece I wanted to show you for your son. Oh, yes, okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. These are just um, items my dad got for, here's my ruler promo pieces. So we're going to go through them first because I know Michelle, oh, sorry you guys. I don't want to like, I know you've got things to do in your day and you've got your picnic. Sorry. Look at my little cafe lights out there. Aren't they cute? <laughs> okay. So these, I'm going to sell these for very inexpensive. They're all new. They're made out of 
bone. Now, these are not color. I know, sorry you guys. It went woo. Um, there are different pieces of pendants. These are great for teenagers. This one is a, I don't know, I call it a monkey skull with wings. But, anyways, it's really nice cord. And you can, it's kind of like a bolo cord. They're brand new. These are going to be $3 each. And see how it's like nice cord. And then you got some beads here. And then you have, I call it a monkey skull. Is it a monkey skull? Okay. So you like that one? Okay, it's new. And it's, yeah, it's black. It's nice. Okay, hold on. I have more. Then there's this one. Let me... Because you can make them longer. Okay, this is... They're all, um, what is it called? Bone. But they're all new. This is like olive and cream cord with the beads. And it has like this bone pendant that's long. Here's one. Oh... What'd you say? Um, did you just recently get remonetized? No. I've been monetized for a couple years. But, um, <laughs> I haven't done much with my channel. I've just been selling, honestly. <laughs> but thank you, Robin. Thank you, thank you. This one is also three. It's also bone. And it has uh, olive and... Cream. Michelle, did you want this one? Oh, thank you, Maricha. That's so nice, you guys. That's so nice. I, I swear, I've never had, like, people uh, other than you guys um, donate. <laughs> thank you so much. Really? All right. Michelle, did you want this one, too? So I'm just going to go through them quickly, and then just tell me which one. So I'm just going to call this one the straight pendant. This one is a half a heart with a cross on it. I like the color of the cord on this one, and I like the color of the bone. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. There, you know what? There's a really nice gal. Um, I love watching her. She's called Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living. She is so, oh my God, she's so cute and so like genuine. Um, she has, a, she speaks a certain way because she was Mennonite. Well, she grew up Mennonite, and um, I just adore her. She's so real. I just love her, and I watch her all the time. She is so nice, you guys. Go watch her. But it's all about, like, you know, prepping and canning and um, gardening and all of those things, and I just adore her. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Jonathan. That was so nice. Thank you for the compliment. Okay. So this one for your other son, Michelle. Um... The heart, anyone? <laughs> you are super, super nice. This one has like a little um, etched cross on the heart. And it's bone also. They're $3. So if you're interested in this one, just say heart. This next one, I'm going to go through these quickly. This one um, is interesting. It's a clown, I think. Uh, and then two clown faces on the side. Can you guys see that? There we go. Kind of see it. Can you see that? Kind of creepy. <laughs> but I love the cord on these. They're nice. Um, they're not leather, which is important to me. Would it, <laughs> would it be super nice? That's so funny. 
Well, I didn't remember my stripper name when I was on your, your show, um, Robin, until Lucinda reminded me, or Angela, one of the two, and they're, they kept calling me Sweetness, and I'm like, oh, how nice, so I keep calling them Sweet Lucinda or Sweet Angela, and um, they're like, no, that's your stripper name. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot we, we gave each other, <laughs> we picked our names. Okay, this is also bone, and it's just like a, I would say a blob. It's not any particular shape. That one's three. Okay, let me catch up on the chat because I feel like I'm missing, I'm missing something, maybe. Hold on. Let's see. Um... La la la, da, da, da. do any of you have a shovel for me to do? Dig my hole a little deeper. Okay. And I don't, okay. If I'm missing someone's comment, like if you guys want something or you're trying to get my attention, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, so let's see, the next one is a fish, but it has, um, like, etching on it also, and the beads, I think the beads are either wood, the brown ones are wood, and then the black ones are bone. These are all three dollars, you guys, and I love that they're made with this material. It's almost like a hemp material. This one's a fish. Hi, Sherry. New puppy. Oh, you're getting a new puppy? Oh, my gosh. Really? What? Um, a 16-week corgi. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Is her name Monroe, you said? Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Wait a minute, that's funny because that's my dad's name. It's an old name. Okay, let me write these down. So, uh, Michelle has the, this one, and where'd the other one go? Okay, let me write this down. Michelle P. Uh, I'm just going to call it mm, stick bone necklace. Okay, put that over here. And then she wanted, okay, Jonathan wanted the fish. Fish bone necklace, got it. And what was the other one Michelle wanted? It was the first one I showed. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Nope, that's the skull. Well, it's got to be here, so I don't remember. Help me remember, what was that? Oh, here it is. Is this it? No, that's not it. Michelle, which one was the first one? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much. See, I, I almost didn't catch that. Hold on, let me move this. Oh dear. Oh, this computer's on a touch screen. I always forget that. Uh, let's see, Robin, I'm... Clipping my auction. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Thank you, Tammy. That's so nice. That will go towards my kitties because I'm feeding my feral cats again. So thank you. All these donations that you guys are making right now on my channel will go towards my kitty, my feral cat, um, feeding them. Thank you so much. Really, that means a lot, you guys. Every bit helps, believe me. Every bit helps. In fact, I was mad because last night I was on the phone with my dad 
and um, I said, Dad, I, I'm going to take you in my car with me because uh, someone put out kitten supplies, and it was like a bag of food and like a bag of something else, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could use that, you know. I went back, because I, I drove by, and the lights, their lights were still on, and I was too embarrassed to take it. And then when I came back, I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait a little longer because their lights were still on. And then I went back late. It was like 11 at night. And all the lights were off, but it was gone. So whoever was walking their dog took it. <laughs> and Monroe is my dad's first name, Sherry. So that's kind of cool. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. Corgi... A corgi, oh, that's a cool mix, corgi and, um, oops, where'd it go? I love these different mixes. Okay, good night, Angela. Thank you for coming on. Hi, Anna. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we didn't name her the family she went to first did. Due to family. Oh. Hi, Joyce. How are you? That's so cool. <laughs> well, Michelle, I know you had a second, a first necklace that you picked, and I know it's probably here. Why can't I find it? That's not it. I know it's here. I'll have to go back and look at my video. Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna say, Michelle. Uh, necklace, la la. Okay. Um, Corgi Jack Russell, Kojak. That's cute. <laughs> they have <laughs> legumes that they sell that are called Kojak, and they're my favorite ones. <laughs> okay, just a couple more. We'll go through. The this one is um, same material. I think it's hemp material. It's gray and cream. And it's got the same beads, but this one has like a little bone carving that has an etching of like a tribal person or maybe a monkey. I think it's a monkey. Same price. They're all new. Okay, what is, um, let's see, Elizabeth K, he's back in the hospital, fifth time in three weeks, oh no, the bed instead of helping him, oh gosh, I know, that's how hospitals are, Tammy, I'm so sorry, Ugh. the hospitals used to infuriate me when it came to my mom, they just want to get you out of there, you know, and it's like, no, people aren't ready to go home, and they just come right back. So sorry. I've been praying. I've been thinking about him. Because, um, yeah, a lot of similar things that my mom and dad both had. No, not yet. <laughs> she hasn't sent it yet, but it's coming. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry, Tammy. I, I've been thinking about you, and I know it's hard. Hi, Jennifer. I'm so sorry, really. That's a hard one, especially when you're going through it, you know, and you have to go to the hospital. It's hard going to the hospital all the time, and then you can't go to the hospital right now, you know? So sorry. Um, this one is Star, Moon, and Star, and it's a bone um, pendant also with etching of in white. And this one's the same price. There's that one. Then this one is um, Medallion. I, I used to know what this meant, but I don't remember. It's a lavender color and natural on the necklace, and then I don't remember what this... Um, little sign is in the middle. Do you guys know? I don't remember. See that in the middle? Yeah, 
that is the key is finding the right doctor. Um, that's what helped my mom when she was finally diagnosed. It took a year. And, oh my God, it made a huge difference in her life, our life. You know, I mean, it was chaotic and psychotic until she got diagnosed by the correct or by the right doctor. Someone that actually cared and knew his stuff. You know, he was there in the emergency room by accident. So, thank God. I know. Hugging you too, Tammy. I feel so, you know, it's hard just saying things over chat, but I have been thinking about you. Let's see. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you with your communication advocacy. Yeah, that's important is patient advocacy. All right, so there's this one. And I like this one because it has that really muted lavender. And it's got the bone carving. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm telling you, you guys, the, the money that you guys give for the kitties, I've been able to buy, you know, um, Purina. It's called Purina Complete, which is like a great, umbrella for especially outdoor cats, frail cats, and then I've been buying some um, uh, additional like little wet food and this other gal um, who's been feeding too, you know, we've been sharing it. So it's been really helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that one, three also. And last one, and we'll move on. I just wanted to show these. This one is like a maroon and green. Oop, wrong way. And then it has a skull and crossbone. Thank you, Michelle. That was so nice. Thank you so much. This one is, uh, yeah, skull and crossbone. And it's also made of bone. They're all new. Okay, Jonathan, which one did you want? Did you want the skull one or the the one before that? The medallion or the skull? Okay, the skull. Thank you. Thank you so much. Put that over there. Okay, so that's it for those. Let me write that down. Thank you so much. Skull, bone, cross, bone, necklace. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, let me move those to the side. They're just fun little stocking stuffers, you know, inexpensive. Okay, this next one is a vintage piece. Um, I love it. This one I really love. It's all brass. Oh, what do you guys think? Um, thanks, I really wanted to find a good lawyer. It's despicable how they treat people here in North Carolina. They're having a problem in New York. Yeah, you know, believe me, in California, I find anywhere you are, you sort of have to be an advocate, always be on them, on them, on them, on them, because they don't care, it's just a job, you know, and um, I, that's why I always spent the night with my mom, whenever she was in the hospital, and my dad, oh, hold on, um, and at the time, oh my god, so much was going on, but I did it, and here we go. This is on a wax cord. It's vintage um, brass pieces. Now, I, I thought I had one of these a long time ago, and I really loved it. Um, it does have a little extender piece and a hallmark. I don't know the hallmark, though. It's like a, a Oprah O almost. 
on like a little leaf. And it's all brass. And then this is brass. Look at how pretty. Hi, Pat. How are you? I forgot to text you. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. How are you doing? Pat, if you want me to mail your package, let me know. It's mm, kind of full, and I know your birthday's coming up. So I want to get it out soon. So it's all brass, and they're like almost like piano keys. So let me show you. They're pretty thick. And they lay really nice. Hi, Dawn. How are you? So it's this necklace, and I want to sell it with these bracelets. Hold on, because I have these bracelets that I think really go nicely with it. It's nice having filtered water again. Boy, I, I swear, we're all spoiled, you know, until we lose something. And then it's like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, where'd the bracelets go? Here they are. Here they are. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to sell this as a small lot. Um, <clears throat> these are all vintage bracelets and the necklace. Um, I'm really not sure what this is on one of the bracelets, but I'm going to show each one individually. Now, I love bangles. And what are you guys saying? Okay. Hi, James. How are you? You're up late, huh? <laughs> um, this one is etched really nice. This is an antique brass one. Also, I did not clean because some people like the patina on brass, which I'm one of those people. I don't like it on silver, but I do like it on brass. So here is the one bracelet so pretty I love brass I love love brass and copper no 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 puppy no you're not getting in my blouse go down go down can you have to get down get down um, this one is mother pearl and brass this one's old also really nice. Um, this one, I'm not sure the material. It almost looks like coral and brass. So that's the, it's like a, it looks yellow on there, but it actually is like a, like a muted orange, pastel orange, and then the brass in between. It almost looks like amber, but it's not. It's not. Then this one almost looks like carnelian, but I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. I didn't test it. I didn't ask my dad. But it's brass on the inside and the outside. Okay, so we have these bracelets. And this necklace, brass necklace. This is gorgeous. I really love this necklace. Um, if anyone would like it for $25, just say want. And it's all vintage. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth K. Yeah, you're the first one there. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think I have your info, right? Oh, thank you, Maricha. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Maricha. Um, Elizabeth. Okay, I think I have your info. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Richa, go ahead and mention the art sale for sure. Thank you. You're going to love this. This is, this is, I contemplated keeping this one. 
it's so beautiful, beautiful. I think so too. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. My email, I'm just going to pop it in real quick. And Maricho has a, an event coming up too. Hey! Hey Alex, how are you? <laughs> um, oh, Alex, I tried to email you because I wanted to know your mom's um, ring size. Let me know. Let's see. So my email is creative. Lori two at oops oops did I hold on yeah at gmail.com and there you go in case but I think I do have your info Oh, yes. Okay. Am I supposed to give someone's info? Let's see. Sounds good. Tammy Lori has my cell. Okay. So, Tammy, if you need his cell phone number, yes, I can give it to you. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice, Jonathan. Hi, Invisible Bitter. I do have your info. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> All right. So, thank you, Elizabeth. Let me put your stuff over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Next thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. My hair is so weird. Today. I need to like, I think I need to color it again. I don't know. It's just when I cut it, like I didn't, I didn't really, um, yeah, I need to, when I curl it, it looks really cute, but I didn't have time to do that. Okay. I will, Tammy. Definitely. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. So the next piece is also going to be vintage. Oh, you did? Oh, I want to see it, Marisha. I'm sorry I haven't been on. I just have, oh my gosh. So much has been going on. And then I had um, my refrigerator, you know, going out. God. <laughs> that was horrible. Living out of an ice chest with two tenants was not fun. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you. It's gosh. I need to I need to color it. When I do, it'll look better though. Pick with joy. Hello. How are you? Alex, <laughs> mi novio, how, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, all right, I have two of these. Um, they are copper, and I like that these are modern copper bracelets. You guys know I love bangles and bracelets. They are my favorite. I just love, love bracelets so much. Especially when they go up a little like higher on your, your wrist, you know? Um, anyway, so I love how it's hammered at the end here. Oh, thank you. I, you should have seen me one night. I was like, I'm so freaking hot. And I just took, my hair was down to like here when I straightened it. And I just went, Whoosh. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to do it. Huh, baby? And he loves me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys. Uh, this one here, I have two. So they're um, oxidized and they're beautiful because I love how they're hammered, flattened on the ends. And um, yeah, really, you could see the forge work on them. You really can. The forging, forging, the forge where they hammer it, mold it, I guess. Um, anyways, I'm going to sell each of these for, it's a buy it now, so if you would like one of them, they're very thick, they're very, very thick and very heavy. If you would like one of them, um, I'm going to sell them for 25 each. And if you would like, say, want, hi Bren. Why are they so 
And don't kiss me. Do not kiss my face. Nope. Don't do it. <laughs> I always get mad at him when he does that. How are you, Bren? Hi, Marie. <laughs> so I have two of these, and I just think they're so beautiful. Look how pretty they are on your skin. They're kind of modern. That's why I think I like because most most of them are a little bit um, vintage looking. So I think that's why I like these. Anyways, they're very thick. Twenty five each. Buy it now. Okay. And I'm just going to wear this one for now. This next one is, um, I need to have my dad reshape one end of it. But it's in really, other than that, nice shape. And it has these, um, thank you. Hi, Becky. How are you? See how it's a little misshapen on this side? So I need to have my dad reshape that side. Um, but it's beautiful braided cuff, a beautiful braided cuff, and it's copper, Susan. Yeah, copper. Oh, were you sick, Bren? And I think it has these, um, they're 20, oh, the other two were 25. They're matching. I'm wearing one of them. This is more modern. <clears throat> Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Oh, did I miss someone's comment? Sherry, did I miss your comment? Uh, da, 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 let's see. I hope, okay, if I missed your comment, you guys, just yell at me. All right. Oh, this one. Um, this one's going to be uh, 25 also, but I'm, I'm going to have my dad um, bang it back into. He has a mandrel where you put it on, and it reshapes it so it doesn't ruin the outside. It just reshapes on the inside. And then it has, okay, thank you so much. It has these little, um, I don't know if you could see them, those dots. I think that means it's like a healing bracelet, which they all are, copper, right? But thank you so much. Just sent email. Okay. Hey, buddy, you need to get down, okay? You're, you need to get down. Okay, Sherry, you sent an email. Let me double check real quick. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um... Oh, okay. Elizabeth, I got your info. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. I think I may already, I think I had your info, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Because there's a few Elizabeths. <laughs> and Sherry, did you send your info or did you have a question? I'm sorry if I missed it. Finished two weeks of antibiotics and steroids. Oh, gosh. That's I, my ex-husband used to be on steroids. It was awful. Awful. Hi, Lynn. How are you? How are you doing? I'm still, like, adoring your letter to me. Thank you so much. Info, yes. Okay. Let's see, Sherry. Um, oh, yep, got it. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. Okay, so let me write this down. Um, <clears throat> Elizabeth K. And then invisible bitter copper cuff. Got it. Okay, got it. So I still have one of these left if anyone's interested. And I'm wearing one. I just think they're beautiful. It's hand forged. Really nice. And it's modern. Very thick. Okay, so I'm 
So I have one of those left. Next thing, let me, I gotta open this up. Um, this is turquoise. And it's new. Okay, let me stretch it to here. Oop. Come on, why can't I do it? Sorry. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong thing. Okay, this is a new um, turquoise necklace. It's a uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven strand. Really pretty. I kind of tangled it. I'll untangle it, but it's <laughs> it's a swag, and we're just gonna do it as a buy it now. Um, it's seven strands of turquoise, and it's um, knotted in between. I just like how there's different shapes of the turquoise. And so, did I freeze there for a second? I think I did. Hey, RJK man, or RJ... What is your first name? I totally forgot. I'm, I've got a brain freeze. Brenda? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm so terrible. Rhonda. Rhonda. Rhonda, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Who's slow on the keys? Oh, that's okay. What are you guys saying? I got it. Let me go back to... So we're going to sell this one... I love fall too. Oh my gosh, I love fall. So love fall. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. I really try. Oh, pumpkin pancakes. Oh my, pumpkin is really great too for your immune system. Like, um, especially if you're on um, steroids, it really helps with inflammation. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think I, I got everyone. So we're just going to do the, it, this is a buy it now. I have two. Um, and they're really pretty. It's just a pretty necklace. Now I can have the, my friend who makes the earrings for me in silver. Um, she can make matching earrings. Um, but they'll be in how light if you guys are interested. But Anyways, it's brand new, and let's say um, $10, buy it now if you're interested, and I have two. My dogs like pumpkin too. The cats like pumpkin. Cats, oh my gosh, it's so good to give pumpkin to cats too. Okay, I got Jonathan for one of them. Seven strand turquoise necklace. Thank you. And did I miss someone? And Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer, I still have your ornament here. I have not forgotten about anything. So sorry. I have it here. Thank you, Jennifer. And these are new. And if you would like earrings, but they'll be in how light. So the so I'm not sure if she has a turquoise. I can ask her, but if you would like the turquoise, I'll show you guys the next time just so you could see them. And that way you don't have to commit to it. But okay, so we have one for Jonathan, which I'll put right there. And then the other one is let me get it out of this baggie. Um, Jennifer's, which I'll put by her ornament. Oop. Okay. And the next thing I have, which goes well with these, um, K 
Okay, these are two different ones. Let me grab it again. Sorry. These are hand-carved agate bracelets. Now, I think they go beautifully, these bracelets. Thank you. <laughs> Look at these bracelets. They're all hand-carved. Now, these don't fit me. So, these are probably a six and a half, maybe a seven. Let me get the radius. Hold on. Because I have, I feel like, a bigger hand, and they don't, um, they don't fit me. But they are two and a half. So what is, I don't know the calculation, but two and a half. So it's probably like a six, six and a half, maybe. So it's this bracelet. They're hand-carved agate. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like carnelian, but it's all agate. Yes, isn't that gorgeous? And look how it, oops, it goes with the turquoise. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, really nice. I don't know the calculation, I'm sorry, but I know they don't fit me. And I always have problems with bangles. But m most people who are normal can just like put them on. But I feel like these are smaller, just so you know. Two and a half in diameter so whatever that calculation is I can't remember it but um, I think this one's the same so I have two of them and yeah it's like two and a quarter actually two and a quarter let me see two it's a little more than a, it's like two and one third Anyways, I have two of these. Look how dreamy they are. It's an eight. Okay. I, my wrists are kind of normal, but I feel like my hands are not normal. <laughs> so I have a hard time getting things in. Um, but aren't these gorgeous? If you are interested in either of these, look at, look at this one. Just tell me which one you want. I'm going to do it as a buy it now. Look at right here. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. This to me looks like carnelian. And look it. They had to carve it. Just think of the rock that it was. And how they had to carve that. Isn't that amazing? If you're interested in either of these, um, they're $20. And I have the light one, the light with the turquoise, and then I have the turquoise with the red. And they're all hand carved. Talented and would break it. <laughs> Look how pretty. Oh, well, thank you, Cinda. I, feel, I love, love bangles. Love them so much. Do you really, um, Becky? Okay, I, I'm like, am I the only weirdo? Am I buffering? Okay, so the two hand carved ones are $20 each if anyone's interested. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show, where did that, um, oh, I think it's over here. Okay, I'll have to grab it. Okay. Now, this is, um, I think it's called Raspberry Agate. No, 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 Raspberry Jasper, and it is on a bolo. Let me take this down. That's... Jonathan's. Okay. And there are earrings to it, but I haven't gotten them from my friend yet. Um, but look how pretty that is. Raspberry Jasper. They can see there. <laughs> um, so, wait, what are you guys saying? Uh, oh, hold on. 
I need to update my page here. I'll take them both. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Tammy. I didn't I didn't see your comment. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. They are beautiful. I'm I love um bracelets, but these are just stunning and they're hand carved. Hey, Manji. How are you? <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Um, let's see. Agate. Bracelets. Twenty each. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're gorgeous. Let me put it over here. Okay. Um, so this is a uh, raspberry jasper and let me get close. I mean, there's so many versions of jasper, honestly, but gosh, you know, I don't know what it is about stones, but they feel so good on your skin. I feel like they, whenever people wear, um, stones, I feel like they really pop. Um, you really notice a stone versus like maybe fashion jewelry because I just think, well, for me anyways, I find them stunning. This is a new piece. It is a bolo style. There are earrings and I don't, um, she made the earrings. They are, I, I don't know if they have one or two of these plus they're silver. I can show them separately, but just so you know, there are earrings that are coming and they're in silver. Anyways, this one here is $15 if anyone's interested. It is brand new and it is a lengthwise. Right now, it's at a 21 inch, but it can go up to, up to, Oh wow, it can go up to 25 inch. So yeah, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I have Elizabeth K. You want this one? All right, so I got a, thank you Elizabeth. Elizabeth K. Raspberry. Jasper necklace. Um, and when I get the earrings, I'll I'll show I'll take a picture and show it to you in case you want them. Then I'll send them at the same time. But thank you very much. They're so pretty. They remind me of like I don't know cranberries. They're just beautiful. This should be called cranberry Jasper. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it over here. Thank you so much. Oh, I have one more. I have one more. So if someone else is interested, I do have one more of that same one. Yep. So if anyone wants another one, let me know. And, okay, now this I love. Good night, Summers. Oh, how fun. Have a good time. I'm actually, um, I'm not going anywhere for, um, the Labor Day weekend, but my, one of my cat lady friends is going out of town, and so I'm gonna cover her, her area. Even if she doesn't go anywhere, I'm like, you need rest. <laughs> um... Oh, that's fine, Pat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, how fun. I hear Cincinnati is a great town. I've never been. I have barely been anywhere in the U.S., to be honest. It's always been layovers. All right, now, there are earrings to match these. They're not in the a rectangular. They're the round but these, this is a stretchy bracelet. They're new. 
Isn't that beautiful? Their mother pearl. So pretty. And I like that I can push it down a little bit because I, I like my bracelets here rather than here. But you can definitely put it up here because it's stretchy. They are new. And these are going to be $10. If anyone is interested, they are brand new, Mother Pearl. And I like the shape of them because it's not totally rectangular. It's like, it, see how it has a swish on the top and the bottom? Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. So we got Jonathan in for one. Anyone else interested? Mother of Pearl bracelet. Okay, thank you so much. These are nice. Thank you. You know, and look at the natural beauty of these the shells, look at that. That's the inside. Isn't that beautiful? And so the earrings, they're round discs, but um, I'll have to show them another time. They're just, I guess you could wear it either way, actually. It doesn't really matter because they're both, let's see, it's flat here. Yeah. No, uh, they're a little more curved curved on the outside so but you could wear it either way I just love natural materials so thank you so much Jonathan and I do have uh, more of that if someone's interested for ten dollars and you grab some water oh I thought there was like a fly in here but it's not What are you guys saying? Uh, I'm pissed my disability check still hasn't come in. Oh, don't they come in like on the 31st or the 1st? I bet there's a delay with those right now, huh? Out the unemployment messed up my check and now they have me waiting. We are so screwed if they stop it. Oh, no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Marisha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's why I say sell. Because even if you buy these items on here, you can all resell them for more, like on eBay or give them as gifts, get ready and do gift giving, you know? Um, sorry, my. I like this little kimono thingy, but it's kind of, there we go. Okay, um, so Elizabeth, I will show you the earrings on that. Jonathan, I can show you the earrings on that as well another time. Actually, I sent a pair of those earrings for the jar that you bought um, already. Um, to your friend. So, all right, let me grab um, one thing here. Let me get my glasses on. Okay, hold on, you guys. Let me, I'm going to put you to the ceiling because I have my pajama bottoms on. I don't want you guys to see it, see them. So you can look at my drapes. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, where did I put it? Okay, if it's not there... Oh, shoot, where did I put it? Okay, hold on. I gotta find it. It's 
So over here somewhere, I'm sorry, I've had to like move things around, clean things. stuff, but I think I might show that another time, unless you guys want to see it. Um, sorry, you guys. Okay. What are you guys saying? Um, oh, I can't read with my glasses on. More the merrier. Okay. <laughs> all right. This here is all natural halite. And the length is, I think I may have shown this in the video, but it was a part of the lot. It is, I think it's 30 inches. So, let's see, that would be 17. So it's like 32. 33 inches in length, and it has, oh, it's so beautiful, this, I'll pull it back, um, a halite heart, and then some coral as a pendant, uh, what do you get saying, wait, okay, so, see how long it is? It's so pretty on. So it's all natural halite. Let me pull it back so you can see the pendant. Has kind of a Native American flair because of the colors. So all white natural halite chips. And then it has coral here, part of the pendant. And then the thick heart halite pendant. Isn't that pretty? It's very thick. Yeah, it's really long, but I love it. It looks so beautiful on. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one as an auction style, and we can start this one off at, let's start this one off at $20, if anyone's interested. Just put in 20 and we'll go from there. I feel like I have to mix it up a little bit. I always do buy it now. I don't know if people get tired of buy it now. I just like buy it now because it goes quickly. Don't threaten me with a good time. Oh dear. <laughs> so I would say as far as carrots go on this necklace, um, probably, hold on, let me see. I would say in halite, the pendant and the chips, because they're both halite, is probably 250, somewhere around there, and then probably just, I don't know what uh, the coral would be, because you don't calculate carrots for natural material, but. So starting at 20, if no one's interested, just say pass. It's a very thick pendant. The Native American flair, the colors. Really pretty. You're listening, but I'm saying good night because I may pass out. <laughs> okay, no problem, Tammy. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope I will be praying for your husband. Get some rest. You need to rest. I always say when you're a caregiver to someone else or you're worrying about someone else, you're only as good to them as you, um, how does the saying go? I always miss, 
Miss Sadie sayings, but you're only as good to them as you are to yourself. So if you're not in good mental capacity, then you pass it on, you know. So if you're good, you're going to pass it on. So make sure you get rest, eat well, take care of yourself, so you can be there for him too. Okay, we're going to give this a pass. I'm going to count to five. It's starting at $20 if anyone's interested. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're going to pass on that one. Um, oh, I did have earrings to it also. These are pretty earrings. I'll just show you real quick in case... Um, now the earrings are separate, but I just want to show them to you in case you like sets. They are new. I wish I had a card out here. I guess I don't have a card. Um, to put them on. Let me just put them on my finger. Let's see how they match so nicely. So that's the pendant, and then here are the earrings. All natural highlight. that pretty? If you're interested in this, if you would like it as a set for $30, just let me know. And these are big chunks of white halite that are hand carved. And then this is branch uh, coral with turquoise at the top and sterling silver from top to bottom. Okay. Uh, what did it say? Let's see. I, uh, I'm going to do some comps. I can't listen at the I'm on my phone, so call me when you are done, if you are up and I am up. Okay. Alrighty. Sounds good. Um, Miss Invisible Bitter, if you're interested in just the earrings, let me know. Just say want, and you can have the earrings for 10 But I'll put them on a card. I just, I didn't have time to put them on a card. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? They're nice, thick, um, how light. Beautiful. Oop. Okay, so next thing. Okay, so earrings. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to show you some, um, Things other than jewelry here in a second. Invisible bitter um, halite earrings ten sterling. Got it. Thank you so much. All right, this next bracelet is um, all um, turquoise. Um, the, the darker pieces of turquoise are dyed, um, but it's a beautiful, intricate bracelet, and it's a multi-strand. Let's see, so it's one, two, four strand, and then it's into a bracelet. Now, this is right up my alley. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? So, if anyone's interested in this, I'm going to do it as a buy it now. Look at, even the little... Um, extension has sweet little turquoise pieces. Isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? So if you would like this bracelet for $10, just say want. All right, Sherry is in for $10 on the bracelet. Thank you, Sherry. This is beautiful. And guys, if you just buy one thing and you want me to hold off sending it so you can, you know, um, maybe get a couple things, just let me know. So I'll, I'll, I'll type it in the invoice. I always type it in the invoice, but thank you. It's very beautiful. That one's really pretty. 
Um, let's see, four strand turquoise bracelet. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Um, let me show yeah so I don't want you guys to wait on shipping and and it helps me out too because then I'm you know not sending an envelope out for one thing at a time I hate I hate being wasteful I reuse everything but I'm really good about wrapping and presentation so if you need it as a gift and you want me to send it as a gift that's totally possible too. I just, I hate to be wasteful. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be some Americana art that I'm gonna show. Um, maybe I should save it for Cha-Cha's thing. Okay, I'm gonna show it because I already mentioned it, but this is by Northwest Designs and it has um, Uncle Sam and on like a little stick. I can't remember what they call it like when they do that. And then it has like a piece of uh, carved watermelon with a bite taken out and it's on wood. It's so pretty. Very Americana. Isn't that cool? I'm going to say, um, let's say eight dollars for this one and it's got raffia and it's got um it's on a, like a wire if anyone's interested i think it's adorable but i have so much you guys i can't possibly keep it all it's pretty thick it's all hand carved Okay. This one is hand carved little star. This one is four dollars. American flag. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. And this one is a piece of, I love this, I love primitive art. This is um, a watermelon slice with a crow eating it on a wire with some raffia. And this one's $8. This one's also hand carved. I love the crow. <laughs> Just so. Okay. All right. So maybe if these don't sell, I'll these. oopsie. I'll show these on your uh, craft sale too. Believe me, though, I have more. Let me put these over here. Uh-oh. Okay. Thank you. Good night, um, Marisha. I'll, I'll text you when you're done. Okay. Let's see. Oh, is Becky still here? I don't know if Becky. Becky, are you still awake? I know she's in California, too, but, um, yeah, my hair is so weird and flat right now. Oh well. Becky, are you still here? Thank you, you guys. Okay. Um, she, I don't think she's here. Well, if no one gets it, I'll show her at another time. So, this is um, Howlite. It's a hand-carved rose. It looks like 
Oh, it looks orangey in my lighting, but it's actually a red. And it's got these beads here. Now, if you would like this one, it's all new. It's pretty thick. Uh, this one is six dollars. Buy it now. Just say want. Oh, was it? <laughs> That's so funny. I don't want to say what my ex-boyfriend's name was or what I called him. Just kidding. Thank you, Bryn. All right, it's pretty thick. Look at it. look how thick that is. Like next to my finger, you can you can see how thick that is. I know it looks orangey. It's not orangey. It's like a light red though. Okay, thank you, Bren. I'm gonna put my email in here. You do collect roses. Oh my gosh, I had some. I had these beautiful rose sterling rose earrings that had. Um, I can't remember what the stones were in them, but I I broke it. I broke one of them. And I was like, oh my gosh. So let me put my email in here. So let me make sure to type that right. Just send me your info and I'll send you an invoice. And if you want me to hold on to it in case you only buy one thing, just let me know. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, let's see, let me put that right here. Okay, Bren. Um, Rose Howlite Pendant. Thank you so much. Necklace. Now you can always change the necklace. I thought it was kind of nice and simple on the black. It hits right about here. Perfect length, I thought. Um, sweet looking rose. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing, let me show you some more vintage stuff. Because I'm kind of excited about this that my dad brought over. Um, that's so happy. Okay. So these are Hishi style beads. There's a different versions of Hishi cut beads. Let's see. Right here. Um, and these are, yeah, these were, I believe these are shell. No, no. Yeah, I believe these are shell. And then there's a mosaic of um, mother of pearl in like a, a brown, kind of bronzy color. Isn't that beautiful? So it's the asymmetrical design. So it goes from small to large he, she cut beads. And then the mother of pearl necklace. So it's a statement piece. I love these necklaces. Um, we're just going to do a buy it now if you're interested. Let me get close and you can see. This is a vintage piece, and then it has the clasp in the back that's like, you know, like that. Um, whoops, this one is going to be, we'll do this one for 15 If anyone wants it, just say want. And I think it's a 22 inch, really nice. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan. Thank you. Jonathan, I'm going to say, um, let's see, black shell kishi with bronze mother of pearl necklace. Got it. Thank you so much. Isn't that beautiful? I would totally wear this. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much. 
interesting this is an old necklace very vintage it's made of wood um i think these are bone i think that's bone and the base of the pendant might be resin yeah it might be resin and then the um turtle on it i believe is bone it feels like it so let me put it on here. So we have brass, wood beads. It's vintage, probably from uh, the 70s. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So it goes wood, brass, wood. These are wood carved beads. And then they have inlay brass here, here, and then wood at the top and bottom of those. Teardrop. Uh, I think these black ones, though, are bone also. And then I think the base of the pendant is resin. And then the turtle, which is etched, is bone. If anyone's interested in this necklace, so let me get close so you can see the intricate work. Isn't that beautiful? I love vintage also. I'm vintage. So <laughs> that's brass, wood. So all this is wood, wood, wood. I believe that's bone. And then it has inlaid brass right there. And then you can see the pendant like on the side. Look how beautiful that is. I think that's all bone, how they dyed it. And then this is bone, but I think the base here and then the top part might be um, like resin, just so you know. Okay, this one is a buy it now. I love it. It's a big pendant, really. This is going to be $20, just say want, if anyone's interested. Now, these resell very nicely on eBay. Posh, Mercari. What's that other one? I can't think of it. All right. Thank you, Manji. This is gorgeous, really. Oh, and it has the cone connectors in the back. Really nice. Thank you, Manji. Um, let's see. Wood, bone, turtle, pendant, necklace. Uh, whoops, necklace. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Okay, and I still have your stuff, Manji. Uh, okay, let me put it up here. All right, thank you. What are you guys saying? Etsy, Etsy, that's the other one. Thank you, yes. Thank you. I love vintage also. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Oops. Ooh, I, I knew I had another copper one. Okay, I'll show this in a second. That's really old. All right, this is made out of dyed wood. It's black. Um, kind of a wood color, like in browns. And then it has a tiger. I don't know if this is a tiger. It's supposed to be a tiger or... Um, a zebra. I think it's supposed to be a tiger. You guys can decide. But it's kind of asymmetrical also. These sell nicely. All of these African tribal um, natural materials sell really nicely. The vintage ones do. So it's black, hand carved wood beads, and then it goes into like these discs that are like a light wood, lighter medium wood I should say. And I don't know if that is supposed to be a tiger or a zebra. It, it could be either, but it's a nice long necklace. And we're going to do this as a buy it now. If you're interested, this one's going to be 15. Just say want. Is 
zebra, you think? Okay, zebra. It's beautiful. Zebra. Okay. Yeah, because I guess the legs are a little longer, and the snout is longer, so it's probably a zebra. Zebger? <laughs> I know what you meant, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, this is a pass. Just say pass. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it for like tiger and zebra. <laughs> Good one. I'm a little slow tonight. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, we're going to pass on that one. All right. Oh, this is pretty. Hold on. <laughs> I need, some, <coughs> I need some more water. Can you guys wait a second while I grab more water? <laughs> Zeb, Zebger. <laughs> I gotta put you up because I don't want you to see my pajama bottoms. I've got pajama bottoms. Hold on. <laughs> I just have like a cute top on but pajama bottoms. I don't want anyone to see them. <laughs> okay, let me grab my water. Hold on guys. Sorry. Oh, come on, kitty. Come inside. Come on, baby. Okay. I had to use the restroom really quick. Also, I'm really fast. <laughs> and yes, I do wash my hands. I'm a habitual washer. Okay. My throat gets so dry when I talk. And it's been... Smoky, too. Okay. Um, what did I miss? What did you guys say? Okay. Come here, baby. You want to say hello? You're my pretty girl, aren't you? I'm baby girl. Yeah. Leave her alone. All right. Let me show... Oh yeah, this is pretty. Um, this is a native, excuse me, style, but it has a, I think, what are the coins? Oh, they're, okay, so it's Native American. It has five centavos, and what is this one? This one says, um, 1986, so these are real coins from Mexico. Uh, let's see, Banco Central, um, can't, what does that say? Hold on, I need, now I need my readers. Read him with that. Anyways, this is, I don't know how much this one is, but these are cool. So five centavos, 
um, 10 centavos. Yeah, cool. And then I don't know what this bigger one is, how much it is. I can't. Uh, I don't know. Does someone know? Can you guys see it? This is cool. This is very cool. Um, also kind of like a bolo tie style. And let me push it back so you guys can see it. So it has a kind of a boho Himalayan style, I call it. But it has centavos on it, 5 and 10. And I don't know what the bigger um, one is. But it's really pretty in this like rust brown. Yeah, so the centavos is 1980s, or the um, one I, I don't know how much it is. It says uh, Banco Gran. Let me see. Here. Hold on. So let me show you. Be nice. Be nice. Leave her alone. But it's kind of cool. And it's very long. So you can adjust it too. Um, I like this. I like this kind of stuff with like all white cotton, you know? Um, let me see. I need my magnifying glass. <laughs> okay, so it's got like a medium blue and like a slate blue. And uh, kind of like a um, teal, almost a teal blue. So the 10 centavos is... Okay, so Republica Peruana. So this is a Peruvian one. Okay. The 10 cent one, or 10 centavos. The 5 centavos one is same thing. So these are Peruvian, which kind of makes sense because of the necklace. Um... I don't see a year on these, on the centavos one, but the bigger one, which is, I love coins, don't you guys? Yeah, this one says Gran Almirante Miguel Raul uh, Uniti. So this is Peruvian also, uh, yeah, Dil, okay, so it says, uh, wow. it says on the back, Banco El Centro de Peru, Republica de, the Republic of Peru, and 1986 on that one. So that's kind of cool. I do collect coins, so does my dad. Um, this is an awesome shape too. So I guess it's like a macrame almost style, very Peruvian. So it makes sense that these are Peruvian coins. Oh, so there we go. You can see it all. Do the coins have ears? Yes. Okay. Really cool, but the centavos didn't, but the bigger one did. I didn't know the worth of the bigger one. I couldn't figure that part out, but it did say 1986. And they do look like hand-drilled actual coins from Peru. Um, so you got three of them, five cents, ten cents, or centavos, and then I don't know what this one is worth, the big one. I don't know what that one's worth. So maybe you can Google it. Um, anyways, it's macrame, excellent shape, a love style, very boho. If you are interested in this one, I'm going to say because of the coins, 20, if anyone's interested. If not, just say pass. But it's beautiful. And I love that it has the coins. They're real. <laughs>
All right, we're just gonna say pass. Oh, his skin is so itchy. Okay, we're gonna pass on this one if you decide later. It's very long. I love it. Looks really boho. And the fact that they're real coins is kind of cool. Okay. <clears throat> the next one. Let's see, we'll do. is also wood cut wood hishi beads this is probably from the 60s and then it has uh, wood chunks um, this is so pretty this is definitely a statement piece it's like a indigo blue black on the, the chunks aren't they cool and then these are hishi cut which is a style of cutting um, shell, wood. These are like discs, but there's different styles of hishi. And this is one, one style. And then there's these um, discs here, or chunks, I should say. Um, the clasp back here is the traditional vintage clasp. Um, so this one, gosh, it's really pretty. It's like a really like a blue-black. I like this one. This is pretty. Especially like when you're wearing whites, you know, like for summer and stuff. But even if you're wearing like in the fall, this would go beautiful. This one, oh, thank you, Lynn. I know, huh? <laughs> My little um, <laughs> cherry one. Um, so this one is going to be $10 if anyone's interested. And it's also vintage. It's all hand carved beads. And then these chunks. I wonder what these chunks came from. They don't look like driftwood. Um, interesting. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. It's really nicely made. It's an excellent shape. Excellent. What girl? I wish you could. You guys could see her. Hold on, let me see if I can grab her. Come here, come here, baby. Hey, come here, fatty. Oh, oh. look at her. Look at this little fat, fatness. <laughs> like mama, huh? She is uh, not a Maltese. What do they call them? Um, I can't remember. Uh, they're like a gray pink color and sh someone just left her behind oh baby and uh, it was last year when I found her anyways I have kept her she's a sweet cat I'm oh, baby I'm oh, baby yeah you're so sweet and my dog likes to chase her <laughs> but she's really sweet hey leave her alone leave her alone I mean it <laughs> her name is uh well, I originally was calling her Malta, but um, it's I've just been calling her, this is going to sound so silly, <laughs> Nango Mango, Mango Nango. I mean, she likes all those names, you know, cute names. Like, I think of her as like a Mango because she's so fat. <laughs> she looks like a, um, okay, so I'm sorry, I'm saying it in Spanish, but a Mango, right? But I call her Mango. Mango, Nango. Look at he's even looking for her when I say that. Baby doll, you need to get up down. Come on, you can't sit up here. Come on. I like her. She's a really a sweet, sweet cat. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> I get sidetracked. All right, this next one. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll show you that in a second. Let me write. Um, Jonathan down. That one was um, blonde hishi beads, wood hishi, and black indig 
go. And necklace. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Next one is um, I have some bracelets. They kind of go with, well, let's see. We'll sell this as a set. Um, this is a little wood bead let's see, set or coordinating set. Russian blue. That's, yes, Russian blue. You're right. Russian blue. Perfect. Yes. I thought you were sleeping, woman. <laughs> oh, Russian blue. The cat. Yes. Russian blue. Yes, yes, yes. I think you're right. Russian blue. She just was like, um, my dad and I were starting to um, paint my my cement floors, and I went outside to, to dump something, and I heard this little, meow, like a, like a kitten. Meow, meow. And I'm like, come here, kitty. Come here, baby. And she comes out, and I'm like, oh, now someone fixed her, but then they dumped her. So I think it was like a TNR, like they trap and release, you know? And so I was like, oh my God, you're so beautiful and you're so sweet. So she stayed outside last winter. Did she? Let me think, last winter. Yeah, she slept in my, um, on my porch here. I have like a little Tupperware <laughs> shed and I have like a house for her and it was like, you know, all the blankets and everything. But then I started bringing her in. I can't remember when, but she is an inside cat now. But I let her outside too. She's a sweet little girl. And she had an infection on her belly from the incision. So I was really worried about her, but she's fine now. That was um, last September. So I've had her almost a year. Russian blue. Yes, thank you. All right, so this is going to be a set. It's also vintage. Um, I do want to forewarn you that they <laughs> I replaced the, um, so it's silver tone or um, probably it's stainless little hoops here, jump rings, but then the, the actual clasp is in gold tone or gold stainless steel, just so you know. So that had been, I guess, replaced at some point. Um, but I'm going to do... Hey, the Flippin' Hustler. How are you? Benji? Is it Benji? I can't remember everyone's names. I'm so sorry. So this one is blonde also. Hand-carved wood vintage. Um, I'm going to say for the set, let's do 15 for the set. And it's this bracelet. I love bangles, you guys. And this one fits me. And they... Um, burn the wood. Just say want if anyone's interested. Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay. And if no one's interested, we're going to pass. That's vintage also. Just let me know if you decide like later. The fit flippin' hustler, are you Benji or am I thinking of someone else? And I apologize. I am so bad with names. Alright. <laughs> this next one. I don't even have um, a necklace for it. I swore I had like a, um, a brass necklace and I can't find it, but this has a nice bail on it and you can, um, stretch it out a bit and it's got, um, it's cool to the touch. Okay. Thank you. Hi Benji. Um, it's got turquoise and coral and then it has like brass but I don't have a, a necklace for it, but it's a very big vintage pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Here's the back. It's vintage, you can see, I mean, it's scratched. 
from years. But I love brass. I'm so terrible with names. I have to, I admit, I really am. And poor Benji has bought for me before. <laughs> it's so hard for me to remember everyone's names. <laughs> But it's kind of a, it's a teardrop, it's smooth to the touch, so it's kind of, um, oh, it's Todd, sorry, hi Todd, I'm thinking of, I can't remember the name for Todd, I mean for Benji, sorry, see, I'm getting everyone confused, it's kind of a convex, Hustling the Hustlers, yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, sorry. <laughs> this is pretty big. My little Russian blue. Hi, baby. Mango, Mango, Mango. She is really a sweet cat. I love her. Um, very talkative. <laughs> see, this is almost three inches from top to bottom, but then with the bale, almost three. It's just shy. Anyways, it's a beautiful vintage piece. Um, I'm going to do this in auction, but I, guys, I just love that it's in brass. It's really unusual. I love brass. I love brass. I love copper. I love silver. I'm not a huge fan of gold, although I should be, but I just like, I like the other metals. <laughs> gold, I don't know. I like wearing gold sometimes. I mean, I like its worth, but anyways, we'll start this one off at 20 and see where it goes. Um, what did I say? It's almost three inches. Almost three inches with the bale. Almost. See the three? Are you done with all your, your chores, Pat? <laughs> I know. I still, I woke up super early this morning and did some chores and I thought, I'm so exhausted now. Isn't that pretty? So, convex. Really nice. Anyone's interested or just say pass or kick rocks, whatever you want to say. But it's in vintage. It's really nice condition. Nothing is popped out. It's all really inlaid very nicely. Um, and then the back is, of course, brass and so is the um, bale. And the little axe. It's all inlaid with brass, basically. I think that's why I like it so much. It's just different. And if no one's interested, we're going to pass. Aw, thank you, Pat. <laughs> okay. Next one. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oops. Now this, oopsie. This is also vintage. It's a big statement necklace. Um, <clears throat> I love that it's got, it's painted wood, it's Kishi cut beads, um, with the smaller ones, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands, and then it's saucer-like beads she beads in a different wood and then some of the wood is painted in the matte gold and I have earrings that are almost identical to the woods so I'm pairing them together it's uh, I think it's a 33 inch <laughs> and it has these big um, ball orbs and then see how, see how it's like a matte gold. This is vintage, all vintage. So it has the six strands of the regular cut hishi, 
And then this one is in a different wood in a saucer. Yeah, those are my cafe lights out there with my umbrella. <laughs> um, and then the earrings that did not come with it, but I'm pairing them with it because the wood is almost exact to the, um, the saucer ones. See that? They're, and they're clip. These are all vintage. So they're earrings. Um, I'm going to say $20 for the set. So here's a necklace, really pretty, and it has the matte gold um, beads here. And then the earrings are uh, looped with leather, and they are clip. Oop, there we go. See how the, the saucer beads are very similar to that. I don't know what that wood is. I don't know if it's like, oops. I don't know if it's, um, uh, I don't know what that wood is. It's, it has like little, almost like holes in it, but they match really nicely. They coordinate very nicely. So 20 on that vintage set. On that one and let's move on to some bracelets um, different ones gosh my hair is like so weird right now I don't know this weather has made my hair like really <laughs> weird <laughs> really weird <laughs> I don't know my hair is just weird anyways but um, the, the, I don't know, the climate has just changed on us and it's very strange. Um, <clears throat> I know, Pat, I saw it in your last video. I didn't comment, but I did watch your last video. Um, and I saw the pineapple lights. They were so cute. I think they're so cute out there. I am so glad you got them, really. <laughs> Alright, so I have a bunch of bracelets I'm going to show you guys. Um, this is braided, um, gunmetal gray, uh, I don't know the technique they call this, but it's like a braided metal, and it's not, it's metal. I don't know the name, what they call to, what they call it, but gosh, it's so, look at, look how pretty it is with, like, copper. Isn't that gorgeous? So, if, you, and this is a bigger bracelet. Just so you know. Um, I would say it would fit up to an 8. And it's like a mesh. I guess that's the word, mesh. Braided. This one's going to be $5 if anyone's interested. And I love the way it looks with copper. It's pretty with copper, actually. Look at it. Really nice complimented color. Okay, thank you. I like that copper bracelet. Oh, Manji, I have one more. So this one is 25 if you're interested. It's kind of a modern copper. It's hand, or, um, yeah, hand forged, they call it. So that one there. All right, so Jonathan, um, I'm going to call it braided mesh bracelet. Thank you. And what else are you guys saying? Hmm. Oops, never mind. Jonathan beat me to it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, so Bren, you wanted that other bracelet. Okay. 
and Munji, you wanted the copper bracelet. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. I had two of these. I think they're just gorgeous. Okay. Thank you, Munji. I'm going to wear it till the end. <laughs> Munji. Um, 25. Let's see. Modern. Uh, copper bracelet. Okay, thank you so much. I have one more um, copper bracelet. Now this one's old, very old, but it's very well made. And it's like a cuff. Hi, Connie! Oh, Jonathan, that's so nice. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Send to Bren. Okay, Bren. Bren, make sure you, I have your info. Um, so you can get your sweet gift from <laughs> Jonathan. That's so nice. Hi, Connie. How are you? That's so nice, Jonathan. Um, that's very nice. This one's a cuff copper uh, bracelet. It's very old. And it's very tarnished. I did not clean it. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see the, the links. Really nice. Really a nice thick. You're better? Were you sick? Oh, I hope you weren't sick, Connie. Look at this beautiful bracelet. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, thank you, Bren. Thank you. Let me double check. I just want to make sure that I got it. I think I did already. Yeah, because it... Uh, I didn't get it, Bren, but um, I'll check my, oops, I will check my, um, what's it called, uh, spam, but um, yeah, send it again if you can. Let me, let me just type it out real quick, okay? Um, just copy and paste what you already sent me. Sorry. I, I don't see it, so let's see. Creative Lori. Make sure I wrote it right. Creative Lori, no E at the end. Um, two, number two, or a two, at gmail.com. So hopefully you get that. Okay. Thank you so much, Sean. That was really nice. Okay. A tough time with my... Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Connie. Better, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. But you know, we have, um, I, MS does better in the, like, cold weather, or is it the opposite, warm weather? Um, I feel like for me, like, my joints, not that I have any, you know, I don't have MS or fibromyalgia or anything, but I feel like my, my joints, and, because I do have weird joint <laughs> issues, I feel like they're better in the spring and summer. And then the fall and winter, when it's colder, it's a little bit harder for me. I don't know. Is that the same? I am so sorry. I hope you feel better. Um, oh, it's horrible, really. God, you would not want to be here then. We've had a heat wave. So sorry. Thankfully, you live other than California. Thank goodness you're feeling better. Guys, she has videos and she has the most beautiful kitchen. She did a black um, backsplash and it's so beautiful. I love it. Because mine is um, taupe. Everything is taupe. The walls and my backsplash in the kitchen. And I love that. But her back, her 
black. Backsplash is beautiful. Really beautiful. She decorates so nicely too. <laughs> so this uh, vintage copper cuff, this one's going to be 30 If anyone's interested, look at the links. They're really nicely made. Isn't that beautiful? And if you have arthritis, copper once again can help. I love, does it have a, no, I thought it, I have not um, cleaned it because, or, you know, um, what's it called? I haven't cleaned the copper because some people like the patina. I like the patina on copper. I don't like silver. That one's 30 if anyone's interested. Beautiful links. Copper is one of my favorite metals. Okay, next one is, I saw your puppies on your Facebook. They are super cute, Connie. Oh, <laughs> She does have cute puppies. <laughs> I like her car, too. Her VW bug. <laughs> um, okay, let's Let's see. What should I put? Okay. Let's do this one. Um, did it have? Okay. These are Heishi beads. Let me get my thingy. So, I'm kind of doing vintage right now, you guys. If you are interested in vintage, let me know, and I'll show you something else, like more modern, um, or gemstones. We'll do that. But these are he, she cut um, bone. Each bead is etched and they have like cuts in them, top and the bottom. And they go from like, um, uh, let's see, are they the same size? I guess they are the same size. Okay, so I think this is a 30 inch and So, let's see, let me double check. Uh oh. It is 12. So, 30 inch. And it's their Hishi cut bone. Um, pieces here. Now these, this sells very well. Anything bone, vintage, tribal, any of that sells really nicely on any of the platforms. eBay, Posh, Macari, Etsy. Um, and this is also vintage. I don't know if you could see the cuts in them. And then how they tarnished them. Or they put like a stain on them. Funky, unique, vintage, and gemstones. Okay, good. <laughs> no, it's not my bone. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, it's not, typically, it's probably like animal that comes from like um, our industry of, <laughs> um, so it could be anything. It could be pig. It could be cow. It could be really anything, whatever is from our industry, but these are vintage, and I don't know if these are from our country, to be honest. Um, so it's hard to say what the bone is from. It could be a various different animals, quite honestly. But, um, yeah. Anyways, they're not my bone. <laughs> so this one I'm going to start at, um, we'll start this one at 20 and see where it goes auction style
And if there's no interest, just give me a pass. Oh, I forgot, Connie. I forgot you had fibro. The cat lady that I, I'm going to be helping this weekend has fibro also. And um, I don't know how she's been doing it um, all these years, feeding cats. She's been doing it for 22 years. I've only been doing it for eight. Well, I'm going to say seven because I skipped a, almost a, a year. Yeah, okay. So we get a pass. All right, take a sip of water. Let's do some fashion real quick so the fashion people don't get bored. Or let's do gemstones, let's do gemstones. Now, um, I do have earrings for this, but I don't know where I put them. These are all um, um, dyed, oh, hold on. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. These are dyed moons. No, 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 no. What's the word? What's the, cat's eye. Cat's eye. Sorry. Cat's eye with blue vein agate. And it has a tassel at the end. Look at the colors. Isn't that beautiful? So it goes from like a pink, aqua, and then like a champagne-ish color. The, the earrings are um, like these beads here and they have a little bit of glass. But I can, whoever buys it, I can show it another date. So this necklace here, which has a tassel and the beautiful blue, I don't know if you can see the blue, the veining. Um, here, let me, sh let me do this. Let me bring the light. Oh, blinding. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh my god, that's like really blinding. Can you guys see the veining in it? Isn't that gorgeous? That's blue veined agate. It's beautiful. It almost looks like fish scales, but not. I can't really, it's not like crocodile. It's just beautiful. And then this is um, cat's eye in pink. Oop. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this is a uh, 32 inch, I think. Let's see. 12, oops. And so 24, no, 26 inch, 26 inch, not 30. And it has a clasp, not that you, oh, no, 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 it does not, it just has a jump ring, but you just fit it over your head, and the blue vein agate is stunning, and look at that, I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I love, I, the, my favorite is probably stones, and then natural materials, and vintage, fine jewelry, those are all my favorites, but um, uh, we'll do this as a buy it now. I love the tassel. It's so pretty, this color. It's like a taupe uh, champagne color. Um, so let's do it as a buy it now, just say want, and um, we'll sell this for... $18. That's a great deal, you guys. <laughs> I'm looking at my chat. So I'm watching, I'm here, but I'm also looking at my chat. Let me pull it back so you guys can see the full effect. It's beautiful. And it's a big chunk of the agate, the blue veined agate. Just stunning, really. And I don't know, I like when I feel the stones against my skin, you know, the necklace part, and 
the pendant part. It's just beautiful. Okay, we're going to pass on that one. It's very uh, feminine with the pink and the aqua. All right, we're going to move on to um Oh, let me let me show this one. This is a vintage piece. It's glass, and I think it's over um, stainless steel. It's an east, excuse me, east Indian design. Uh they match it up. See here. And it's like uh, pieces of metal that come together. And I'm just trying to see how it's um, clamped together. They're elephants, the trunk up. And this is glass in the fuchsia and teal. And if you're interested in this, um, we'll do $5. Just say elephant. Or spell it as close as you can. Elephant. Now this one fits me. But I'm afraid to put it all the way on because, um, well, they fit, but, you know, because I have bigger hands. Okay, so we have, I think, Bren with this one. Thank you so much, Bren. So let me write your down. Yeah. It's like clamped together, the metals. It's very intri intricate. Very intricate. Thank you so much. I love bangles, let me tell you. I could sell bangles all day. Um, Bren. Glass. And metal. Elephant. Bracelet. Thank you so much that there. All right, the next thing, oh, you know what? Let me, let me show you guys, um, where'd they go? Huh. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the brand new set of bangles. I love bangles so much. Um, they are, where's my magnet? Where's my magnet? Of it there. Um, hmm. I don't know where my magnet went. Put it over here. Oh my gosh. I don't. Okay. I believe these are silver tone, but they're all new. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven bracelets. They're, I believe, in silver tone. They're all new. So it's a leopard one. They still have the little thingy on it. Um, you have, and it's like a mosaic on the main one. Then you have a white leopard one. Then you have like a gunmetal gray. And then Two, one is shiny and one is matte. Then you have that one, and then it's a repeat of the gunmetal gray, shiny, and matte. So quite a few bracelets. You could wear all the skinny ones together. What are you doing? Hey, baby doll. So I love these. They're brand new. Oops. Um, I'm going to do all of these together for $10 if anyone's interested. So you have three, six, seven, eight, eight bracelets. And just say want. But the black one, this big mosaic one is black on the inside. The, there's doubles of these, so it goes uh, gunmetal, shiny, and then matte. 
and then there's two of each of those. And then this one is like a vinyl, really cool, very realistic. It looks like real fur, actually. I know you can't see that, but um, really nice on that one. So 10 on that one, if anyone's interested. If no one's interested, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it for eight dollars. And just say want. Okay, <laughs> Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. So guys, I've been busy with like house uh, repairs and renovating with, with the, within my budget. My refrigerator went out. Um, I've been gardening. I'm, I feel like I'm homesteading. And I'm loving it. Loving the homesteading part of it. So I hope you guys will enjoy my upcoming videos. I'll post on here. Um, it's not always going to be my sales, although I know I'm using this channel for that, but <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. I'm just um, showing you what I'm doing for like prepping in the future because I was, I feel like I wasn't that prepped for this COVID, you know? Yeah, it quit. Um, and I love my refrigerator. It, it was black and it matched all of my um, appliances. And so I've been living out of a, a ice chest for, what, two and a half weeks? And I just finally got my refrigerator on Friday. And, oh, my God, it was really such a blessing, honestly. Such a blessing. Real, oh, I forgot that's Manji's. Um, did I write Manji down? Yeah. What a pain. But that reminds me, like, how, because here in California, we're having rolling blackouts from 3 to 10 p.m. And I think, okay, if my refrigerator goes out, it was during the heat wave, too. So if my refrigerator goes out, I will literally put everything in my ice chest and take it to my dad's, which my dad came here to pick up everything because I had, like, shrimp and I had salmon that I had prepped you know like bought ahead of time and he was trying to figure out what was going on with my refrigerator and it just it was a goner and so oh my god and then some refrigerators if you bought it new they would they wouldn't deliver it to you till October November and some are December I thought are you kidding me it was it's been a nightmare nightmare and the ice would melt when I buy it, like, right away. <laughs> hi, L hi, Lindell. Oh, Lindell, I want to show you some stuff. Okay, so, anyways, that was, that's what's been going on with me, and it's been a pain. So, this is Manji's bracelet right here, this copper one. Very thick one. But here's a wood one. It's like in a sage greenish color, um, hand-carved. It's stretchy. If someone would like this, it's... Eight dollars. It's vintage, and it's really beautiful. Wood. Just say want. Yeah, I want to show you some stuff, uh, Lindell, because I think your daughter might like it. I'm not sure. I know. This year has been an awful year. Awful. And Manji, I loved what you said um, to Blandine about her husband. Blandine lost her husband. And, and Manji, she lost her son, which I can't even imagine. But Manji had said to Blandine, you know, that just know, you know, I mean, she said it very nicely. Um, just know that the Lord is wrapping his arms around your loved one, your husband. And that's so true. You know, I like that saying, like, um, the Lord is embracing, 
It's not just meeting you at the at the gates of heaven. I'm I'm certain he's like embracing you and loving you. You know, saying welcome home. So I love that. I love that you said that. And I thought I'm going to use that, you know, cuz that's a really nice thing to say to help those who have lost their loved ones to imagine like the Lord hugging you know, welcoming home, um, whomever is coming there. So I love that. I wanted to tell you that. Anyways, okay, so we're going to pass on this. And, let's see. Okay, this is the vintage brass. Yeah, I mean, Earth is just temporary, you know, very temporary. Um, this is all brass. It's a, um, it's not that old of a piece, but it's considered vintage. But it's all brass, and it's very intricate. It's a big, wide cuff. Um, it has one little indention right here, and you can't tell. I mean, you can because I'm pointing it out. But when you're wearing it, you really can't see it or tell. It's a really nicely made vintage brass cuff. Um, so this one, and it's, look how beautiful. I don't clean the brass. I love the brass the way it looks like this. So we're going to do this one, oops, for $6, buy it now. And just say want. See, right here, it's that, right here. Right there. Just so you know. Come here, girl. Come here, baby. I just love this big cuff. I love all brass, copper, silver. I don't like gold. I like white gold. But I like the value of, you know, regular yellow gold. Okay. Next piece. Um, outer layer of the pumpkin... Yeah, it does look like the outer layer of a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, next thing is, let's see, what should I show? Oops. Okay, I have some more modern pieces here. So I'm going to do this as, oops, as a set. Pardon me. Okay. So we're going to do that. This. Uh, let's add this one. I guess it goes like that. this is a set. I wonder if I should put this too. Yeah, that matches. Okay, we're going to do this as a set. It's vintage wood necklaces. These are teardrops, or not teardrops, uh, toppers and he, she beads and discs. And then these wood beads. 
necklaces. So they're like a medium brown, and then this is in a blonde and rust and brown. Let me get close. We're going to put it with this blonde etched. It looks really yellow in here, but it's not. It's blonde. It's not yellow. Oop. They're etched. This, I believe this one's from Africa, too. Um, a lot of the ne necklaces are, but it goes with the necklace, and I'm going to add this one. I think this is walnut wood. This is gorgeous. Look at that. It's chunky. Oh, that's okay, Lyndall. We just want you here. <laughs> I have no money, period. <laughs> um, so I'm going to sell this as a set with two bracelets, and they're all hand-carved, and two necklaces. This one's going to go for $20 for four pieces. And I know you can't see the etching on this, but uh, let's see. You can't see the... You can kind of see it, but it's really intricate. Um, the star, I think it's the star of David, and I know, you, oh, yeah, it's really intricate. I don't think it's picking up on there, but beautiful. Twenty dollars for the four pieces of two hand carved bracelets. This looks yellow. It's not yellow. It's blonde wood, and it goes with this here. And this is probably a thirty inch, and this is like a twenty six. Just say want. Uh, late nighters, yeah. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> so pretty all together. All hand carved. Look how thick that one is. Well, they're both thick, but. Thank you. I wish you could see the detail on the star on here, but. That's okay. Oh, it's 9.05. Good night, Connie. Good night. I hope you feel better. I'm glad you feel better. And I, I hope you stay better. Okay. Alright, Lyndall, I'm going to show you this, and if you want me to hold it till the 14th, I will, because I think you would like it. Um, so these are little Howlite skulls that have like little um, Swarovski uh, gems in the eyes, and it's a Bolo style bracelet. Isn't that cute? I mean, I still have your package, so <laughs> it's not going to, and they're all different um, colors in the eyes, and it's a bolo style. So if you would like this one, Lyndall, for, well, they're all, yeah, they're all Howlite. Um, this one is going to be 20 if you are interested. And then these are Swarovski crystals also. They're really like very t deep turquoise. Okay, thank you. And then I'm going to show you the earrings that sort of match. They coordinate. And then you can just, and I'll just hold it till the 14th. That's not a big deal. Um, let me, hold on. Let me put this aside. <coughs> Um, how light skull bracelet with Swarovski crystals, and then let me show you the earrings, and I'll show you them next. They don't match exactly at all, but I just thought I would show you. Yeah, isn't it cool?
me point you guys to the ceiling because I'm wearing my pajama bottoms. <laughs> and I don't want you to see them. Okay, let's see what, oh, here they are. So here are the, hi baby. Here are the earrings. Um, <clears throat> now they don't match exactly. But, and I don't even know if these are freshwater pearls. I don't think so. But they're kind of, they're very feminine. So, there are the skulls. A little different because they don't have the Swarovskis in the eyes. But then there's like a rhinestone spacer. And then it looks like a freshwater pearl, but it's not. <laughs> I, I know, I just wanted to be comfortable because I've had issues with my tummy all day today. And I thought, no, I don't want anything tight on right now. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in these, oops, these are new. Um... We'll do these for six dollars if you are interested. Okay, I think you're interested. They don't match exactly. Where's the? Let me see. Where did? The, oh, here it goes. It's a little bit different color. Just say. So well, I guess not that much, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're a pretty good match, but they're just different. Um, style, just so you know, but they, I like to have rhinestone and, they, well, they turn around, of course, but I'm holding them. Anyway, isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so let me put these in here. Actually, let me put this in this bag. Okay. Let's see. Lindell. Highlight skull earrings. Alright. And the last one I'm going to show are these um, white highlight. They're more like cream little earrings. They're the same price. And they're new. If anyone's interested, they're halite with little rhinestone spacers. I love Halloween. I don't know about you guys, but I do love Halloween. Oop, sorry, I don't want to keep busy. So these are the same, six dollars. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I've never worn them or anything. So let me put them here. So I'm gonna put a note, wait till I'll wait till the 14th. And that, you know what, that helps me too from sending your other package. So you didn't have very much in there, so this is perfect. Um White Howlite Skull Earrings. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> I think they're cute. I love school. It's like, it reminds me of Day of the Dead, which I like, you know? Okay. Uh, the next bracelet is brand new. It's the leather. I would totally keep this because I like, I mean, look at it. It, it totally matches this embroidery and... I love it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's leather though, and I don't wear leather, but it's brand new, and it's got two different sizes that you can 
size it too. And it has etched leather boho um, Native American kind of colors and design. Greek key. So if anyone's interested in this one, it's $5. It is brand new. It is leather. It's very boho. And I'll show you what it looks like on. I would totally keep this, but I just don't wear leather. That's on the tightest. Oh, I think you only have like one thing, Lindell. Um, so I call it a package, but it's only, I think it's only one thing. Um, or maybe you don't have anything. I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking of Michelle P, who's also international. I think that's who I'm thinking of. So never mind. But yes. <laughs> so it'll be fine. We'll hold on to it and, um, I think I am thinking of Michelle. Would you like this one also for five? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, it could be worn because, you know, I, I feel like if it was worn by a man, I mean, look at the, I think, I think Lyndall wants it. Um, it's pretty big. So here's on the second, right? It's pretty big. I mean, look at how far down it goes. It's pretty cool. Very boho. Um, I think. I think you wanted it, um, Lindell, yeah? Just say yes, and I'll know. Okay, I'm just going to wait till you say yes, or let me know. Boho leather bracelet. Let me know, Lindell, if you want it for five. Okay. Hey, buddy. Look at this gorgeous girl. Mango. Lango. Lango. Look how pretty she is. Isn't she pretty? Mango, 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 Anas, Nene, hi Nene. Isn't she a pretty girl? Nana, mango, baby, hi baby, hi baby girl, you're so pretty. You're fatty, you're like mama, you're fatty. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Lindell, let me know if you wanted that bracelet for five. Just say yes or no. Okay. All right, so let's move on to some more pieces. Um... You know, you guys, I love stones. <laughs> I can't stay away from stones. So, I I like to show mostly stones, just so you know. Oh, she wants it? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lyndall. Thank you, Pat. Um, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> um, these are really cool earrings. I'm not even sure what the material is, to be honest, but they are a little cool to the touch. They're very intricate. They're earrings, um, and you could tell they're hand-carved, and they're thick. I don't know what they are, though. 
They're not cold to the touch. They're just cool to the touch. But, um, oh, let me put them on here so you can see them. So they're like little brass um, findings and then hand carved whatever. I'm not even sure. I don't know if this is bone, but it has like a little maroon mixed in. I really don't know, to be honest. Look at them though. They're nice. They're, they're not hollow. They're actually carved whatever that material is. See how there's a little maroon in both? Isn't that pretty? I really don't know what these are. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but if anyone's interested in these, let's say, uh, just say want. Um, let's do them for $5 and just say want. They're pretty big as far as like, they are um, an inch and three quarters in length. All right, we got Bren in for $5. Thank you, Bren. And I think the findings are, are copper, or not copper, brass, which is really nice. I don't know what these are. They're really interesting. They're very like Indonesian, Asian. They almost look like jade, but they're not. They're not jade because jade would be cold. They're just beautiful though, intricate. Thank you so much, Bren. Okay, so we've got Bren. I'm just gonna call him turquoise carved. Um, medallions, medallion earrings, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty descriptive on my, um, oh, they kind of go with the uh, bracelet you got. Isn't that pretty? That style, I guess that's your style, huh? They look so Asian. Okay. Yes. I guess they are. Yeah, so it's so good to like get to know people's style. Okay, that's Lindell's. And okay, this one is, you know, um, I'm 99.5% that certain that this cross, which is very intricate and thick, is copper. And then you have these Venetian beads from like the 60s and 70s. And they are glass beads. Um, let me show you. These are very old. Oh, wait, wrong way. I don't even know what the time it is, you guys. <laughs> so this is a very old, um, Okay, very collected. I do too. I'm kind of an old soul anyways, but <laughs> look how thick this copper cross is. It's really intricate. I love crosses. Not many people do. Uh, well, I guess it's a preference, really. And then you have the Venetian glass um, beads, which these are expensive, and I was happy to see that Krista Goose was selling some Venetian glass um, beads for like $50, $75, you know? It's like, yes, they should go for that. Anyways, <laughs> um, this beautiful cross with the beads, Venetian beads, um, I'm going to say, and oh, and it has hematite. Look, it, it has hematite back here by the clasp. So the beads are just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, I'm going to say 
25 for this. Just say want if you're interested. It's very thick copper uh, cross. And the beads are beautiful. <laughs> I, you know, I thought of you, Lyndall, right away when I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, I think she's going to like those. Oops. So you can see, like, I have not cleaned the copper. That's one side of it, which has, like, the green um, filigree tarnish. And then this one, that, this side doesn't really... But it's very old copper. And then look at the beads. Let me go down a little bit so you can see the beads. Hold on, I'm kind of messing it up. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. All right, so these, this is 25. Yeah, this is old, but I don't know how old, to be honest. I really don't know how old. I, I feel like this cross is like, it's hand forged copper, you can tell, and it looks like it's from the 30s. It's very old. Um, okay, we'll pass on that. I can't see what time it is without my faraway glasses. Let's see. Okay, it's only 1.22, my time. <laughs> I don't know, for you guys, it's like, well, Singapore, it's the afternoon, and the UK, the morning, and East Coast, early, early morning. <laughs> okay, let's see, let me show. All right, this is a vintage uh, choker, actually, and it does have matching earrings. Um, it's got copper um, beads and mother pearl mosaic beads and hishi. Um, I'm not sure what the hishi beads are, the maroon looking ones, to be honest. They look like shell, but I'm not sure that they're that are dyed or like pearl, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this is set um, in, in copper. It's gorgeous. Let's see. Look at that. So, here are the earrings that are in Mother Pearl mosaic. And these beads are Mother Pearl. And then all these pieces are copper here. Isn't that beautiful? I think these are pearls. I didn't test them to be honest, sorry. Um, these could be freshwater pearls that they carved in the Hishi style. Um, and it has a toggle class. But really beautiful piece with all the copper and the champagne um, pearls and mother pearl. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? So copper, mother pearl, and I, I don't want to say it's pearl. We're just going to say copper and mother pearl, but it's a matching set and um, looks like a 16 inch. And these, these beads are beautiful, aren't they? And the copper, oxidized copper. So, and they have copper ear hooks too. So this whole set is going to be, uh, let's say $20, because it's vintage, it's copper, mother pro mosaic, beads, those are not cheap, and it's vintage. Oh, that's so nice, Lyndall. <laughs>
Okay, you want this piece or this set here? Okay. Good night, Lucinda. Good night. Um, who else said good night? I think someone else did. Well, I'm sure if Lucinda's going to bed, I'm sure um, Angela's going to bed. <laughs> Let's see. My mother-in-law will like that. Okay, thank you. I'm going to put this in a box, so just so you know, because... Um, I don't want it to get damaged, and I try to save in, in weight, but I really want this to get packaged nicely. And gosh, I don't know if these are real pearls, but these are copper pieces in between, and they're just beautiful. Good night, Lucinda. Good night, Angela. <laughs> All right, so we have... I'm shopping. Actually, I'm making gifts right now. Making gifts, shopping, sort of. I'm not really shopping. I don't really have the budget to shop right now. I bought myself something for Christmas in July, and I feel guilty about it, but I like, I love it. Okay, Wendell. This is copper. Mother pearl. I'm going to say faux pearl on top of that, because I... I think it's faux pearl set. Very pretty. Thank you so much. And I'll put these on a card too so they look nice and with new backs. So it'll be all nice and vintage but new. <laughs> vintage but new. Okay, next thing. If you guys are getting tired, let me know because, um, uh, are you going to bed, a mizzle bitter? All right, good night. Um, hi, baby girl. I have these. Well, this is a boho. Wait a minute, does that match? Oh, this matches. Okay, this is just um, uh, what's it called? Acrylic, but it kind of matches the leather. Um. See how that kind of matches? Isn't that cool? So, I know, Lindell, you bought this one, but this one is pretty cool. If you're interested in this one, this big bangle, it's um, $4 if you're interested. I kind of think, like, they should go together. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of think they're cool. It's kind of boho-y. If you're not interested, that's okay. Okay. Anyone? No, it's okay. It's okay. Anyone interested in $4 for this boho -y bingle? Which does fit me. <laughs> I like it. I think I love the indigo blue. I think it's beautiful with all the vibrant oranges and yellows and blues and greens. Beautiful. So four dollars if anyone's interested. I have fat hands, so does my daughter. Oh really? I do too, but luckily this one fits me. See? And it's pretty easy. Cause some bracelets don't fit me at all. Yeah. Alright. Um this next one is resin. And it's like silver, um, it has reliefs all around it, and it's new also. So this one is $3 if anyone's interested. It's black and silver, like painted silver, kind of vintage silver looking, but it's new. Just say you want. Okay, someone wants to just say bracelet want. I'm going to wear this one for now. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing Manji's bracelet and I'm wearing this one. I think they're cool. I think they're so pretty. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, let's see. Let's show this one. 
Now this is made out of coconut shell, so it's very like, uh, what's the word, um, kind of Floridian, tribal, um, like South American, Cuban, could be Tahitian, uh, Thailand. It's made out of coconut shell. It's a heart, and it's a beautiful, it's brand new, too. I know it looks brown, but it's actually like a maroon. It's a beautiful maroon color. And it doesn't really show the color on here, but it's con convex. Look how pretty that is. It's made out of coconut shell. And these two beads are wood or could be coconut shell as well and then this is it feels like leather actually and they're beautiful and it has an extender on the back this necklace is going to be five dollars if anyone's interested it's brand new and it's beautiful it's a big statement necklace just say want And I wish you could see the color, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like, okay, you can't see the color, but it is new. We're going to pass on it. Thank you. Oopsie. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I drink so much water and I get so dehydrated when I didn't have the because I used to have a osmosis machine for my water and then um, my refrigerator broke and so that was my filtered water well then I felt like I don't have any water source you know so I wasn't drinking as much and I could tell it didn't feel as good uh, anyway, okay, um, thank God I have a refrigerator again. Okay, hold on. I did try not to get these tangled. So this is um, vintage also, and it ha this is really vintage. It has, I think these are polished um, acrylic, I'm pretty sure, but these are wood chips, just like the other necklace set. Jonathan bought and it's in rust cream and like an indigo black blue and this is beautiful this is vintage if anyone's interested this one is five dollars oh I know it does go <laughs> everything goes wrong at once right um No, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Manji, please go to bed. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I I hope everything's getting better a little day by day. I know it's not, but I hope things are getting better. Have a good night. Get some rest. And I will talk to you soon. Hopefully we can talk on the phone soon. Good night, Manji. So five on this one, and it's got the wood, ch like chips, in rust, indigo, black, blue, and cream. Oh, are you? Why are you crying? Oh, hi. How come you're always here with me, huh? You want to say hello again? Is that what it is? Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. oh, you're a heavy girl. Oh. Yeah, she's kind of heavy. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, guys, I want to show you something that's like a preview for the next time I'm on live. I need to do a little more research on it, but it's Native American. It's back here. Oh, wrong way. Right over there. 
It's a three-piece set. It's made out of opals, and um, he's Native American, and it's a gorgeous set in sterling silver. It's, it's a older, well, it's vintage. Um, let me, I'm going to get up and show you guys. It's going to be a little preview. I just don't want you to see my pajamas. <laughs> So, <clears throat> um, oh, <laughs> sorry, Michelle. Yeah, so it's, um, it, oh, it's gorgeous. Where did the earrings go? Well, there's earrings to it also, and I have them here somewhere. But here is the necklace. It's all sterling silver. And it's beautiful opals with inlaid silver. Isn't that gorgeous? Opals are just, oh my God, look at that. Those chunks of opal. Yeah. And then it has like um, these like um, discs on top, on top of the, the necklace part, like three of them, and so does the bracelet. It's, it is beautiful. It's like a wishbone, and it's articulated, so it kind of moves. See, isn't that beautiful? And then here's the bracelet, and it's all hallmarked. Look at the flash in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Um, and it has earrings, so I will share this with you all. It's all Hallmarked, too. Hallmarked, vintage, Native American. I will share this with you guys. It has earrings next time I'm on. Just wanted to do a little preview. So that will be for the next time I'm on, um, and I'll do more of a Native American theme flair. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like a fuchsia, purpley, uh, the flash is purple, you're right, and then it has the fuchsia host of the opal, and then it has inlaid silver in it, and it all matches the earrings. Everything. It's all taken from the same stone. I'm so excited about it. So I will, I'll feature that. I'm going to take some pictures of some things I'm going to show next time, you guys. And I'll um, email everyone when I go on live next time. So today's what? Tuesday? i got to take my trash out. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, so um, I'll email everyone. I think everyone's on my email. I think Michelle, Lindell, I think you're all on my email. I'll email you the next time I go on. It'll be the evening. I'm not sure what time, your, your time it will be. But I have a ton of Native American pieces. Um, I just came on so late right now today that I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to uh, bring out, you know, um, big, heavy-duty Native American pieces, you know, <laughs> because I'm coming on so late. So I will, I will definitely shoot you guys some pictures, and um, I can't wait to show you guys. But I have some beautiful pieces, so I will show it to you next time. I'm going to show a couple more pieces, and then I'm going to go because I am getting a little bit tired, and I'm sure you guys are too. Uh, well. For those of you that are not, <laughs> that are not, um, on my time, maybe not, but these are, um, turquoise glass, uh, African, um, oh, these are, okay. Yeah, so there's some acrylic beads on here, and so there's, 
So there's some, okay, let me, let me take that back. I'm going to call it acrylic. Even, yeah, I'm going to say it's acrylic, turquoise. And then there's some glass. Um, yeah, those are cool. I think these are agate, actually. So they put agate with acrylic beads that look like turquoise. It's brand new. And then there's some beads that look like turquoise, or a uh, tiger's eye. And it has an extender. It's by... Oh, I can't read that. I, I don't know. Is it Lucky? I'm not sure, to be honest. But it's brand new antiqued, like, gold. And it appears to have... I'm not sure. Let's just call all acrylic, just to be on the safe side, but it looks like agate and turquoise, and it's beautiful. It is new. Isn't that pretty? Um, this one's $5. It does have a, a long extender in the back, so six inches. So if you want it a little longer, and it's probably a 30 inch, really pretty. Bye, Michelle. Okay, have a good lunch. <laughs> um, Pat, have a good lunch. <laughs> so funny, lunch, and here I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, there's this one. This is new. And guys, I think I'm going to end it here because it's getting so late. And look how beautiful this is. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's new. Just beautiful. And it does have a hallmark. I just don't know who the hallmark is. Oops. I don't know who that hallmark is, to be honest. I'm not really good with um, fashion jewelry. I don't really know all the hallmarks, but it has a six inch extender. So guys, I'm going to end it here and I'll send you all an email uh, the next time I come on. This is kind of a late night thingy. <laughs> so um, I'll email you all the next time I come on. And um, I'll show the Native American uh, pieces that I have. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy them. So they're very well-made pieces. Uh, let me just say that. So guys, um, I will see you later. And thank you all for hanging out with me. And um, I'm probably going to have <clears throat> just some water before I go to bed because my stomach is still weird. <laughs> And the, my throat's better because of the smoke, but it was really bad yesterday. I had to keep my AC running full-time, full-time, and even in my car. So, anyways, guys, thank you for hanging out with me and having a good time. I will see you. Today's technically Wednesday, so let's say I'll probably see you Friday or Saturday, and or sooner. I'll send you an email. Bye, guys. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> it's always so hard to X out of here. Hold on. Oh, here we go. What did I do? <laughs> oh, there we go.